The idea of mining uranium from seawater sounds like something out of science fiction. Yet chemistry exists today which could make this reality. Professor Robin Rogers is a pioneer in green chemistry and one day his work could result in the ocean mining of uranium. At the University of Alabama we found that we could selectively extract a useful polymer called chitin directly from shrimp shells and that we could modify this into a sorbent that would allow us to obtain uranium directly from the ocean. There are only trace elements per litre of water, so refining sufficient amounts of uranium will require vast farms. There's more uranium in the ocean than on any known land deposits or even guessed land deposits. Now, of course, the ocean is really big, so it's dilute, but there's no question that the amount of uranium in the ocean could satisfy mankind's needs for nuclear power for many, many generations to come. Professor Robin Rogers and his research team are exploring the use of a new polymer developed from chitin, a natural biopolymer obtained from shellfish. They want to create mats from this material, which, once put into the ocean, will attract uranium like a magnet and capture it from the sea in a practical, affordable and sustainable way. Uranium is extracted from seawater by a process known as sorption. We actually take a polymer sorbent put it in the ocean and it attracts uranium selectively, allowing us to take it back to land and use it. Professor Rogers' technology has been spun out into a startup called 525 Solutions, which won a Department of Energy grant to scale up the lab-based process. We are using uh, ionic liquids to extract a biopolymer from shrimp shell waste, and you are using chitin, the biopolymer, to manufacture the nanomats. If the refining process continues to be developed with these biodegradable uranium capturing mats, it's one way nuclear power could become part of a truly sustainable energy future. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.